By the way, a mask like that on me would cover me like down to here. <laughs> this mask, his chin sticks out of it, and he just gladly parades around like that, as if it's totally fine to have a drawable double chin. Now, what's a drawable <laughs> double chin? Of course, a drawable double chin is where you have such a bad double chin that I could simply, without any skill in art, draw two U's, <laughs> and it's you. Get it? So that's how you know when you're too fat. If somebody could simply draw you by doing a circle, a U, and then another U, and it kind of looks just like you, then you know you're a morbidly obese pig, okay? So you shouldn't have a drawable double chin, which he has, and listen to what he says. This is not spitting fire, and this shouldn't be anyone's father. Your kids should be taken from you. Your wife fined, and your business is closed. If you are a father that acts like this. Or do I answer? <coughs> um, there was more than a dozen mass shootings in the U.S. over 4th of July weekend. That's nothing. Lovely. That's crazy. That's fucking nuts. Look I'm that. not even feeling safe to go to public gatherings anymore. I'll be totally honest. I'm not even feeling safe to go to public gatherings anymore. How fucking funny is I don't even feel safe to be going to public gatherings anymore. I'll be honest. Really? You so should you're... be dishonest. Yes, you should maybe lie <laughs> on your show. Why does it always have to be a money lie? Can't you do a lie about who you are? <laughs> Cut back to that fat fuck. Never cut away from him. Sorry. Look at this guy. So I want you to see this now. And what's good about their show is they barely cut to nobody. So we could just watch Ethan in big time. Listen to this whiny little bee. <laughs> He's always coughing um, and gagging. There was more than a dozen mass shootings in the U.S. over This breaks his heart, by the way, these shootings. Lovely. That's crazy. That's fucking nuts. I'm not even feeling safe to go to public gatherings anymore. I'll be totally honest. Yes. Yes. What's this? I mean, realistically, I think statistically. I don't give a fuck. Well, not really that risky but i understand i don't give a fuck dude you go to a public i don't give a fuck i'm too scared that's what you're saying <laughs> you don't give a fuck what does that uh, even mean well his intern button well statistically you're probably i don't give a fuck it's too much those statistics are too high for you 12 mass shootings by the way that's all just black people having a blast they're not gonna hurt you you live in bel-air they're not there i mean realistically I think statistically, I don't give a fuck. Well, not really that risky. This is so but I, watch. I don't give a fuck, dude. You go to a public gathering, Fourth of July, yo. Someone's yeah. gonna come shoot it up. There's a chance. Ooh, baby. <laughs> That's how a baby talks. I don't care. Go to a Fourth of July gathering. You just want to have fun and shoot up. Fuck that. <laughs> This is what I mean, the spoiled, privileged white and their wild imagination where they're not allowed to have fear in their lives. That makes me sick. What do you think a little fear is going to do, people? I again, you get it when you watch... Never cut away from Ethan. You <laughs> get it when you watch movies. Surely you understand you get it when you watch movies. You like that thrill. Invite that thrill into your real life. It's the only way. Happiness does not come from good things, you idiots. It comes from the fear of children. <laughs> and that is what me and... What's the shooter's name? Uh, By the way, how could I be a bad guy? I have not one shooter's name recognized. She r rattles off a shooter's name every day like this. And I go, who, who, who? Who? Sounds like a guy who owns a hardware store's name every time. Uh, Who's this the shooter? One's name was, I know that his Joe rapper Lest. name was Awake the Rapper. Oh, Awake, yeah. But I'm forgetting his actual name at the moment. I promote Awake. And what Awake did 
No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Careful. But at the same time, you can't be this kind of a bitch. Watch this. Give a fuck, dude. You go to a public gathering, 4th of July. Yo. Look at him. Someone's going to come shoot it up. There's a chance. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. There's not a chance, actually. not safe anymore. But it, it's so crazy. The chance of you getting in, and people like, this is so hack, but people should use it every time. The chances of dying, getting in your car, are like a thousand times greater than that you don't care about that at all you text and drive you're eating eight fucking the burgers of dying from heart disease yes <laughs> so why with the slimmest odds and that's why i never understand these mass shootings it's like guys it's barely any <laughs> it's really not that much you're comparing it to yeah oh well on news first of all they're lying <laughs> and secondly who cares I, my dad always said to me, I don't care what so-and-so is doing. I would always say this. You know, I'd get in trouble for something. I'd go, oh, but uh, Rick is allowed to do that. I don't care what Rick does. I'm not Rick's dad. And what are you going to say to that? It's such a great, horribly mean, <laughs> unfair way to treat your son. I'll never forget it. But it's true. You know, you're comparing yourself. To, so what? That's not, it doesn't make sense. You guess what? There's no killings in, on the moon either. Who gives a shit? There's killings here. Figure it out. And that's what I say to everyone and their fucking little problems. Figure it out then, if it's such a problem. And by figure it out, I mean, come up with your personal plan. What do you do? What do you do now? You just sit around and cry about it? Figure it out. And that's what fathers should be doing and teaching. Not homeless people like me. You need to figure it out for you and your family. When trouble arises, when fear creeps in, just go, okay, how do I defeat the fear? Because spending your days defeating fear, it really is no more annoying than spending your days doing anything. So why not just fight fear for your hobby instead of um, Elden Ring or instead of having to go to work? What's the difference? So that might take a long time to really f figure out for some of you. But I will not sit around and watch the Kleins. He, you know, he thinks he's father of the year. He thinks, oh, my God, I'm like the most responsible dad because I have a portfolio where I've invested and I give $2,000 to everybody in the family on Hanukkah just to show them that I'm... No, you're wearing those shorts. You look fucking horrible. Look at your legs. Look at your sandals and the mask and your homemade haircuts. So I don't want this father. Oh, he's so much better than all of us, right? This is how he acts when just a tiny bit of fear is introduced to his precious world. It's like, it's like terrorism on our own people. Nobody wants to do shit. Isn't that crazy, dude? We're just doing a juice fucking cleanse with cancer. Did you steal that one from? Yeah. Doesn't seem so like something sad. you came up yeah. with on the spot. <laughs> so basically, yeah, we don't do shit, but we could come up with a juice cleanse. For yeah, where did you hear that? Twitter a thousand times in a row? Uh-oh, weird bug. Weird bug on the Moog. Cut to the wide shot. Maybe people could see it dance across the keys. Nope. They'll never see it. Oh, it's crawling under one of the keys. Oh, no, could flick it off. Well, no, I don't flick bugs. That's a wild ride of their life that I'm <laughs> unwilling to be a part of. Sorry. You're the only person I've ever met who hates bugs and hates being near them, but yeah. refuses to kill them. Well, I learned a long time ago that if somebody flicked me and I flew, <laughs> I'd be livid. So I don't know what's going on in there, and I can't determine it. I'm not, who am I to say what's going on in a bug's life? So I will not flick them anymore because I don't know what they're doing behind the scenes. All of a sudden, a thousand of them come over. So let's listen to the bitch. <sighs> yeah. He coughs. It's hard, it's hard to even, I don't even know what to say about it anymore. Look, well, you need to know as a host with all this money and donations. You know. That's the other thing, too. I don't want to hear my host go, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know. You need to know. I don't want the hosts making a million dollars a month going, so I just um, reread three things from Twitter, and then the rest of the time I really don't know.
That's not enough work to get the 300000 a month. Sorry. You need to know as one of these hosts. Or don't come on. You know. If it was this quiet on the show, you would think it was a very special red bar where Mike finally cries. <laughs> this is just a uh, hourly occur. Every 15 minutes, this is how their show sounds. You go, Mike, but you're not playing anything but a rumbling of a little air conditioner eight miles into the into the east. Nope, this is their show live. It's hard. It's hard to even. I don't even know what to say about it anymore. You know. Really is just so fucked up. Just poked himself in the fucking eye. <laughs> Did he do that? He went, <laughs> How fucking gay when you're trying to be sincere and you poke yourself in the eye and then don't acknowledge it because you want to keep the sincere vibe up. That is a real... I got to see this. So this is called a fool's flick. It's where you accidentally hit yourself in the eye and don't go, I'm so sick. Guys. Hey, guys. Guys, turn the music down. So, thank you. I hit myself. I don't know if anyone saw. I hit myself in the eye earlier. It was retarded. But... I saw it. I'm aware of it. Thank you. And the whole place would erupt. If you try to, if you flick yourself in the end, try to like pretend that shit never happened, you're gay. Sorry. It's one of my rules. I don't make them. Let's see that eye flick, okay, Jules? Because thank you for calling that out. I almost miss it. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Wait. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to even. I don't even know what to say. Oh, I guess yeah. Maybe don't put your Tourette's hand that close to your face, okay? Unless you sharpen those nails. Scratch them up. Scratch them up. I want to see. That's what we should do when the next time this big pig has his next pizza nap. Let's shave his fingernails into the sharpest razors we can, and then he'll twitch. He'll cut up his whole face like Jeffrey da or not Edward Scissorhands. Did Edward Cicerian once cut up his own face? Because it looked like he had some scars. Yes. And did they show that, him doing that to himself? Yeah, he would go, ah. Why? Get the hand away from the face. It's I knives. Know. He was so sweet So guy. Ethan Klein, if I was doing this all the time with my hand, and by the way, this is just a tell of whenever Ethan's panicked. The And it's like scientifically a tell. Ethan. Isn't that hor horrible? He could never so play like, poker. Yeah, so basically, like this is him on another show. Yeah, thanks for asking, Howie. So, yes, I do have Tourette's. And basically, like, whenever I'm really nervous or, like, holding in a lie or, like, telling a lie or, like, don't know what to do, I'll pretty much, like, tweet. But then on a show, he's always doing that shit. So, <laughs> every day, time you're twitching, it's like when you're telling a lie. Whoa. So, I wouldn't want Tourette's. If I had Tourette's... You'd be like, Mike, why is your hand, t hand taped here? I'd be like, uh, it's the forever Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> You're beneath it. Don't ask. Hand holster to keep hand warm. Whew. It's got a, a button release for my hand. See, I know about holsters now. Okay, let's see him hit his eye. Anymore. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, Watch no. this faggot. No, 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 boo, boo. <laughs> He's, oh, and we got to play that clip of AB. Is he talking about I don't me? Have that. You don't. Be Who it's has? just someone messaged it to you. We'll find it I on break. Not. Okay, but let's see the rest of Ethan Quian. Ethan Quan. Quian. Really is just so fucked up. It's so fucked up. Um, Look at this. This is a show he does. Let's see. Alec Baldwin and fucking Woody Allen. Oh, you, we got an edit of whatever went down with them? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I sat through. They're two despicable people. Woody Allen once hit on a girl. I won't stand it. Gila, they should be camp. Why are they even allowed to live and breathe? I know. They're so disgusting. Like Gila Ethan was fronting on Doja Cat on the yes, last episode. Ethan, like, shut up, bitch. Ethan and Gila. This is their problem. Any... Like, thing that happens that's, like, a cancelable thing. Like, okay. You'll have Harvey Weinstein, who obviously, like, blocks doors and, like, committed real rape, right? And then you'll have a guy like um, that guy who uh, shoots the movies who, like, his only crime was that he, like, screamed at a girl on set once in the 80s. Remember? Who's that guy? He honked the boobs of the transsexual. Oh, uh, David O. Russell. <laughs> David O. Russell. So, 
Ethan Klein, this is the worst part about the Me Too movement. Ethan Klein and Hila Klein will take Harvey Weinstein and David O. Russell. They're the same. They both should be killed, never able to I work mean, I again. I think that's kind of a bad example. A better I example don't. is on the last episode, Doja Cat had that thing where she yeah. called the guy from Stranger Things a snake, which is yeah. hilarious. And Hila, so is, you don't like, know what, by the way, <laughs> by the way, you guys know Noah <laughs> from Stranger Things? Oh, that guy should not have 22 mil followers. But that's like the funniest, most lighthearted story that nobody could ever find a problem with. And he was like, why is she messaging a fourth past Yeah, so what happened? Wait, I got to tell people what happened. You Jewish bitch. Fucking <laughs> Jew bag bitch. Can you call... Kanye West called Kim Kardashian the N-word the other day. Yeah. And I always wondered, if you're fucking a black chick, are you allowed to call her the N-word? Not, a, not if you're black, I mean. Like, can you be like, suck that dick, nigga, to a woman? And if not, then a woman should have no problem with the N-word because she can't be one. <laughs> No black women should actually have a problem with the N-word if we can't call them that. But Kanye called Kim Kardashian the N-word, which was crazy. We having the best divorce ever. He goes, nigga, we having the best divorce ever. And it's like, I always wondered that. Can you call a black woman the N-word? But maybe he's explaining. In a sexual way, not in like a bad way. In a way where it's like, dang. Because you hear black women all the time go like, Damn, nigga, you fine. Just like that. And that is an exact replica of someone I've seen on TV, so it's allowed. But is it the reverse? Like, you never see a black guy. And by the way, black comedies, you could use that for free. That's my gift to you. That's my allowance to my people, my workers. So um, that would be very funny in a black movie to have, like, a black guy, and he's like, Damn, nigga. To the a woman. It would be shocking. So Doja Cat and Noah from Stranger Things, the kid with the bowl cut. Do we have footage of him? Like, show people who this guy I mean, is. Everyone knows him. Oh, yeah. I mean, everyone. On. I wouldn't know if you told me, Jules. Yes. No, I wouldn't. Because I'd be thinking of that mean skeleton kid. But as soon as you say bowl cut, people know who you're talking about. They all have bowl cuts in a way. <laughs> Even the curly-haired kid is considered bowl-cut-like. They're all freaks, creeps. Where did they find these people? And by the way, don't take it as a compliment, Stranger Things cast, if you've been cast. It means they think you look so fucking weird, like the weirdos of the 80s. Like, you went out of your way to cast kids that almost look like fucking deformed mongoloids. Just so that you could bring an 80s vibe because people in the 80s had more freckle. It's weird and it's abusive and exploitative. It would be like if I hired 18 tards to lead my band just because it's funnier looking. That's what they're doing. So Noah, don't get on your high horse and think you're popular. People like you just like they like the bearded lady. You're a freak. Doja Cat got in a fight with that kid with the bowl cut, Noah, who's just a, a tiny kid. And she's like, damn, shut the fuck up, you snake ass bitch. <laughs> and Noah's, awesome. Noah's sitting at home like, oinks. <laughs> Another steal that he does. So, um, but Hila and Ethan went over that Doja Cat thing and they were acting as if it was Harvey Weinstein. They were going... I just don't understand why she still even has fans at this point. Like, why are people even listening to her music? Like, she gets confused thinking like, you know how they're like, you're not allowed to listen to Michael Jackson or R. Kelly. Like, she thinks you should do that like every time like a rapper's like, oh, this guy got a DUI or, I mean, not even that. Or this guy, you know, was uh, caught drunk out at night. I don't even understand why people are still supporting him. Well, well you should understand because your husband has done far worse <laughs> than any of these guys. All right, was there any more Ethan Klein fears? Now we stuff? should move on to Chris. Yes! 
bring me my Chris and Chrissy if you're watching. Oh, do I have a lot of problems with you. A ton of problems. And uh, he's one of these guys, Christy Stefano, walking around with that belly full of guilt, knowing that he should be getting made fun of all the time by guys like me. And it doesn't happen that as often as it should. And that's where you see the fear and the guilt and the worry. What the hell is going on? Why don't everybody? It's like the look g Easy has always. How the fuck are people letting me get away with it? They're always waiting for that other shoe to drop. Is that what they say, Jules? Shoe to drop, right? That's the expression. Mm -hmm. The other shoe is going to drop. Ooh, get away from it. It's a shoe bomb. So, oh. Good to see that. Disgusting. Okay, let's see, Chris. 41, right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. There we go. Let's enjoy. Deafening screams for Amy Schumer, by the way. You hear that bass frequency? Your doc did nothing. No dance. <laughs> She's rich. I like how she thinks she got her groove back. No, we just got bored of typing how much we hate you. We did watch like eight episodes of her new show one day. Oh, that when we crazy were both, we show. Were both oh, my sick God. And like tripping, and then we watched like 10. Yeah, episodes. well, to make fun of it, though, you got to see the show. What is it called, Jules? She has like a sitcom. Like right? Life and Beth or Life something. Life like and that. Beth, right? It's crazy. And she's Beth. It's like an A.D. Bryant joint. Like A.D. Bryant directed it. Oh, yes. A.D. Bryant. You, can't you see this? A new Hulu original, Life After Beth, directed and produced by A.D. Bryant. Yes, the fat girl from SNL. Oh, yes, of course, she's directed. What a powerful woman. Please. Imagine A.D. Bryant trying to fucking hold the camera, paying attention to the ice cream, the ice cream falls, the camera falls. All right, parental advisory, here we go. You're gonna love it, thanks to me. These comedians are my best friends, including this one, he's just best one friends. of my absolute <laughs> favorite comics. And you, you know, know he's got some Mr. best Crit friends. We're gonna show you guys got four best friends in comedy, and you're not gonna believe who the guy is and who the four are. <laughs> but it's coming up. De Stefano. It's pronounced D-Stefano, D-Stefano. He used to be Chris Stefano. But he's been so lousy lately. You see, they've downgraded him. Okay. Here he comes. Look at him. Never trust a person who's trying to do posture. Means they're an imposter. Okay. So never trust him ever. Okay. Hello. Hello. How you doing? You feel good? You look good? That's what it is, dude. It's the parenting show. I feel like nobody even in here even has kids, right? It's LA, who has, like eight people. Imagine have having kids and running about doing stand-up. That's child abuse to me. If you have a kid, you sit there and stare at it until it asks for information.